Development is deeply linked to the activities, the verification process and the upkeep of the whole team. In this sense, development is strategic as it identifies the construction of a system of competences for the whole group and the simultaneous growth of a system of individual competences. The development of a specific team, competence, represents the evolution of the sphere of action as well as the growth of a team's super-individual system as a social organized actor. The development process of a team system of competences is autonomous and complementary, and it witnesses the transformation of a team into something more than just the sum of each individual. Development must first off be linked to the system of competences of individuals working within the team and taking part in the team building activity. On the other hand, it is linked to the team system competences understood as a super individual dynamic unity. The system of individual competences. Starting from sharing the goals, then through roles identification and later into leadership, the evolution of a working team has granted that each individual member is directed towards integration rather than standardization. The outcome of differentiation and integration processes mostly depends on the possibility of each individual to develop its own system of competences within a working team. The first issue to be addressed here is the awareness of one's own set of professional competences. Indeed, individuals usually perceive their set of competences to be restricted to the knowledge on the work or on the role or the tasks done. By thinking so, they approach working teams with a partial perspective that results in individuality and the association of each individual with a particular expertise. The following step in this developing path of a working team is the acknowledgement of the need of a broader and wider system of competences. It therefore becomes clear that the objective is not achievable only through the skills and abilities of an individual expert, but rather thanks to a more complex system of characteristics and capabilities. Consequently, the system of competences of each individual member turns out to be enriched by new relational capabilities as well as managerial capabilities. All this results in an added value for the whole team or the organization as its human resources become qualitatively enriched and powered. The system of a working team competences. If we think about the super-individual dimension that characterizes a working team, we can clearly consider that, as for individual and organizations, a team possesses and needs to possess a system of competences On this perspective, we can point out that a working team system is quite different from just the sum of systems of competences of each individual, and that knowledge, skills and qualities of the team will be different. The know-how of a working group is the knowledge the team possesses, or that still needs to have, in order to work successfully. The set of team knowledge can be defined as a team culture. Team competences are usually a neglected field of knowledge, as it's regarded having a low recognition of social usefulness. Working team capabilities are strictly linked to the identification of a team as an organizational actor, to its relational and dynamic processes, as well as the implementation of its functions and activities and the skills connected to the execution of its tasks. 